three game winning streak going until that night that you and I were in that order. And it wasn't so much that they got beat, they were absolutely embarrassed. I mean, right. they were flat out embarrassed from wire to wire. Right. I mean, they really were never in that game. Gary Nichols comes in for Bubakar House and George Town as well. How do you like the big fella and also checks into the lineup? Nichols good defender too. They like to rotate guys on Allen with Nichols and Al. Al played a really tough the first time. Ricky Moore in at guard for Utah. Ray Allen going to try to take Nichols baseline and to kick it back to the line. Nice. Nice pass by Allen. Nice. Having a solid start. Showing he can lead down, make the pass, make the open shot. Really trying to control Iverson, making the game a half court game for him. That was a good outside shooter. Yeah, the center before he flat out so he can shoot the rock. You can't allow him to have the wide open look. Looking more on the run. Mr. Leia, but Johnny White was a big presence inside. He already shot a little bit, but UConn off to a good start. They have a one point lead. 12-11 UConn, you know who the stars are in this game, but their understudies in this drama include Travis Knight with a jam there, a great assist down low to Kirk King, and then the 15-footer, and he is having a good start to the first four minutes plus, and he's had a great tournament on the boards especially. Travis in 15.5, those are some big numbers, very active, a lot of pro scouts really like him. He has come a long way. I said to him before the game, I can't believe you're a senior. It seems like yesterday you were a freshman. He didn't play like anything but a senior now. Iverson, the chair up and brings it himself. I think he has got to work on his shot a little more to become a better threat. Iverson worked his way to lead for his first field goal. Instead of releasing people, as soon as they score, they're releasing people to try and take away that pressure. Georgetown on its first lead of 13 to 12. Iverson can score so many ways. He has the jump shot. He has the great penetration ability. He has the ability to get to the foul line with his driving ability. All the way goes to over. The tip by White. The heavy White was really outstanding last night. He was 5 for 6. They really made his big body inside a real strong presence. He's a solid off the bench. He's very handsome for a big guy. Yeah. Defensively, now by three. In the lane, Checker ran into the Lee, they lost the ball, looking for a foul ball, didn't get it. The jump was way short. It almost looked like Johnny White was zoning in the lane and they were playing guard. The guard came in here. Well, watch that next trip down and watch the screen. The Zyvers is working Ricky Moore and he throws it away to Checker. He's got a trailer. Jerome goes up himself. He can go up strong. He's got to really attack the basket if he makes his decision to go to the goal. Ray Allen came up with a loose ball rebound. His jumper for three. I'll tell you what, then. He's coming out and shooting tonight. He's not backing away like he did in game one. Game two, he said, hey, I'm stepping it up. This is the guard and this is New York. This is the big time. Three-pointer number 101 of the season for Ray Allen. Top of the 15. White lost the handle. Turn it over and a foul of boot on Jahani White. White in for Othella Harrington, who is set to check back in. Don't forget tomorrow, you think Dick Vitale hasn't had a busy week? Don't forget to join him as Bigger Phelps, Chris Fowler, ESPN, bringing you the men's turn on selection special, 627 tomorrow night. Then at 730, it's the women's selection special, both tomorrow night on ESPN. I'll dig his in my seat right now to jump in the car tomorrow and drive and go all the way up to Bristol, baby, and get ready for the show. Don't have to hear that term anymore. Who's in the bubble? Who's out of bubble? Who's in? Who's out? Oh, what a pass from Allen to King. I tell you, Ray Allen has really stepped it up tonight. He wants to show the reasons he was voted the player of the year by the coaches. A one-hand scoop around pass, I guess we'll call it. It was right on the ball. You tried by two. I think they're doing a great job making this a hot court game for Georgetown. Trying White. to take away transition opportunities. White squares up against Hayward. A little half hook. Got the roll. He's got a nice touch. He's got nice soft hands for a big player. Right. But Othello going out, and he's got a trigger nail just a little bit, and he could be one heck of a player in the post. At least in the 2-7, I asked him before the game. <laughs> uh, about 2-8. That was probably about a year ago. Oh, yeah, right. And he 
goes up against Kirk King, who's 